What's going on everyone? Here's how to build the best jump tower in LEGO Fortnite. First, start out by placing a cross shape of foundations just like this. Be sure to use granite foundations as they have more health. Then, on each of the edges, stack them three high. Now we're going to place the Pleasant Roof 5 piece just as I'm doing. You can go 6 high all the way around with it. You can go higher if you want, but 6 seems to work just fine. Now go ahead and grab yourself the Pleasant Valley corner piece and go 6 high with these as well. Once we have all the corners in place, grab yourself the Pleasant Roof 3 and place them just as I'm doing on every other roof. So place them here, skip the next one, place them here, skip the next one, and place them here. Go ahead and repeat this all the way around. Now just fill in all the blanks with the Pleasant Roof 5 piece. Alright, once everything's filled in, go ahead and add yourself some temporary blocks just like this to build our jumper on. Place the large granite foundation in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just make sure it's above the box. Then go ahead and hop up on there. If you're in survival, just glide on top or build yourself some blocks to get up. And once up top, we're going to get the small granite foundation and place them in each corner with the two block gap on each side, just like this. And stack these three high. Now get yourself the large granite foundation and just stack it on top even with the bottom one. Now we can add in our thrusters. Grab yourself the large thruster and place one directly in the center. Then place one in between each of the small foundations just like this. Be sure that they're perfectly in the right spot all the way around.
Now get yourself the large wheel and place it in each of the corner on the bottom like this. It's easier to place it if you stand on the roofs. Now we're going to place one in the floor all the way around with a one Lego block gap on each side. This is to prevent our foundation from hitting the side and damaging the roofs. Alright, once that's done, go ahead and hop back up on top and place yourself down the small granite foundation directly in the center. On top of that, we're going to add the white pillar. Other pillars might work, but this one seems to work the best. Put that directly in the center and then add yourself a large balloon on top of that. Now go ahead and break the temporary blocks. Then go ahead and hop back up on top and add yourself the activation switch. You can throw it wherever you like, I just like to throw it right here. Now go ahead and test it out. Depending where you built this, you can use the activation switch two to three times. So here I'm going to use it once, wait for it to die out, and then I'll use it again before I jump. Then, once you're at the height that you want to jump, just go ahead and jump off. It'll fall right back into the platform we built, ready for the next time you want to use it. You can build multiple of these going in a line, so that way you can just glide from one to the next, placing map markers at each of them to let you know exactly where they are. You can either build yourself some stairs to get in, or just throw it on the roof pieces, just like this, to build a nice clean way up. Then to get inside of it, just glide yourself in. Here's what it would look like to glide from one jump tower to the next. And if you enjoyed this video at all, please be sure to drop a like and maybe even a comment. And as always, subscribe if you love puppies. Thank you so much for watching.